Good day to you all. You're welcome to the lesson of today. My name is Miss Adegoke, and our subject today is English language. Our topic is adverb. Once again, my name is Miss Adegoke, and you're welcome to this lesson. Today, we are going to be looking at adverb. As you all know, we have um, eight parts of speech. I, I want to believe you still remember them. That's a noun, pronoun, adjective, verb, adverb, preposition, conjunction, interjection. We've talked about nouns, you know, names of persons, pronouns, a name, a word you use instead of a noun, you know, adjective, they describe nouns, verb, an action word. Now we are looking at adverb. You can see that in adverb, there is a, a part that looks like verb. You see, there is verb in adverb. What is an adverb? That is what we want to look at today. Adverb. Look at the screen here. An adverb describes a verb. You see, you add to the verb. An adverb describes a verb. It also describes an adjective or another adverb. You see what an adverb does? It describes a verb. It describes an adjective. It also describes another adverb. We can say they describe or they modify. They tell us details. You know, it tells us another information about that verb. Now, it goes with and it describes verb. It tells us how. Adverb tells us how an action is done, where an action is done, when an action is done, why an action is done, and with what frequency an action is done. Look at the picture that we have here. Adverbs describe verbs. You know, look at this first one. You know, endlessly chatter. This person keeps chattering endlessly. How is a person chattering endlessly? That is the adverb. I hope you remember what a verb is. I've told you earlier, a verb is an action word or a doing word. What somebody is doing. This person is chattering. How is he chattering? Endlessly. Look at this one. Swimming. How is this person swimming? Confidently. He's very sure of himself. Confidently is the adverb. It tells you how somebody is doing something. Look at this one. Write excitedly. Excitedly here is telling us how the person is writing. You know, that is the adverb. It tells you how somebody is doing the verb. Look at this one. Read carefully. Read carefully. You should always read carefully. Carefully here is the adverb. It is telling us how somebody is reading. Then look at this one. Happily smile. The verb is smile. What is he doing? Smiling. How is he smiling? Happily. Happily, here yeah, is the adverb. Look at this one. Rain heavily. It is raining. How is it raining heavily? It is not lightly. Heavily. We also have them um, chirp. Yeah, chirp. Then the bird is chirping out. Cheerfully. Cheerfully. Very happy. Very happy to chirp. So that is what adverb um, does. They describe or they modify verbs. They tell you how the verb is being done. We have adverb here again. A word that describes a verb and tells how, when, and where. Look at this one again. The turtle walks slowly. Slowly here is the adverb. We have another one. It went to the beach today. This one is telling us when. When the person... Went. Do you know that um, if you remove them, the adverb, the sentence still makes sense? Adverb just give you more details. If you remove the adverb, it, the sentence will make sense. Look at this first one. The turtle walked. It's correct. But if somebody says the turtle walks slowly, the person is giving you additional information. If I look at the second one, he went to the beach today. If I tell you oh, he went to the beach, that's correct. But putting today, we let you know that he went to the beach not yesterday, not last week, but today. So it gives you additional information. Look at this one. My dog ran over. It's a sentence, but then there is an adverb attached to give us, you know, more information. My dog ran over there. This day here is the adverb. These are what adverb does. They give you additional information. Now we have different types of adverb and we are going to be looking at them. First of all, we have adverbs of place. You know, that, the other time I was telling you that some adverb tell us some things. Adverb tell us place, as in where the verb is happening or talking about. Look at some examples here. Here, there, home, overseas. Like somebody saying, oh, 
my daddy will travel overseas. If the person does tell me my daddy will travel, of course, I still understand what the person is saying. But the person is now saying my daddy will travel overseas. Now, the overseas there is telling me the place where the daddy is traveling to. You know, these are adverbs. That's what adverb does anyway. They tell us more about verbs. They modify the verbs. So aside adverbs of place, we also have adverbs of time. If place is telling you where, then you should know that time is telling you when. When an action takes place or when an action will take place. And we have words like uh, now, then, today. You know, today, now. These are telling us when something will happen. We have some examples here. Suddenly, hurriedly, generously, gladly, powerfully, kindly. These are all uh, examples of adjectives. Pardon me, I mean adverbs. They are examples of adverbs. They tell us um, how somebody is doing something. Then we have some other types as well. We have adverbs of manner. That's number three. And then we also have adverbs of frequency. That's number four. What does adverb of manners do? What do they, they tell us how an action is done. Oh, the girl walks quietly. Oh, the man speaks quickly. Oh, the children read carefully. Oh, the man is waiting anxiously. Oh, the singer sings beautifully. It is telling us the manner, how the action is done. Look at what we have here. Spontaneously, we have them um, robotically. The man moves robotically. You know what that means? He moves like a robot. We have them um, jealously. Oh, he did the work jealously. It was, you know. Then we have them boldly. Oh, he writes boldly. I can see his writing. We also have adverbs of frequency. It shows how often, how often someone does something. How often an action is done or it takes place. You know, we have words such as um, sometimes, always, never, often. These are words that show um, how often something is done. The boy comes to my house sometimes. Oh, the lady comes Okay, the lady comes to my shop always. Then we also have, uh, oh, he never visits me. And then, oh, he often visits me. This tells us how often, when somebody says never, the person never comes. As in, uh, the not usually does not come at all. Then somebody says always, the person comes all the time. Somebody says often, that is sometimes, sometimes, you know. All those things tell us, um, often means comes, um, you know, regularly but not all the time they tell us how often an action is done now we come to the next one adverbs of reason you know they show why something is happening why an action is done they show why they tell us why and we have words such as um, because as it was in order to etc you know like somebody saying oh um, i will go because he invited me you know um, the because there is telling us the reason why something is done. And then we have um, a lot of them, as it was in order to. Now we come to adverbs of condition. It shows that something will or must happen before something else can happen. No, now when somebody is putting you in a condition, oh, if you don't come, I won't give you uh, what you ask for. You know, sometimes women may say, oh, if you don't wash the plate, then uh, that means I won't help you with your assignment. It shows that you don't want to be of help in the house, you know. Condition tell you that something must happen before another thing happens. And then we have ways such like uh, such as uh, if, unless, except, etc. We have those ways to show condition. Now, I want you to identify the adverbs in the sentences. I told you earlier on that if there are no adverbs in a sentence, the sentence still makes sense. So you have to tell me the adverbs, the words, you know, that describe verbs. What are the actions that somebody is doing? That is the verb. And which one is now describing the action? I read number one, Celine Dion sings beautifully. Which one is the adverb there? Number two, the man will be here very soon. Which one is the adverb? Adverb modifies verb. 
they modify adjectives they also modify adverbs like themselves number three she spoke very loudly to the housekeeper which one is the adverb mr four, number four mr dimeji travels overseas monthly you tell me the adverb that we have there if there are two adverbs there mention the two sometimes there may be three adverbs mention the three sometimes it is only one you have to check well number five john dances well to music which one is the adverb there in conclusion adverbs modify verbs or we say they describe verbs they also describe adjectives or other adverbs like you have been told before the turtle walks slowly you know slowly here is describing the uh, verb walked it went to the beach today today is telling us the time my dog ran over there you know they're telling us the place you know where the action um took place thank you enjoy the rest of your day help mommy and daddy at home